We hear the words valid and validity used all the time, but I want to talk about what validity means in a technical sense with regard to something we've already discussed, deductive arguments. As a reminder, a deductive argument is an argument where the premises logically guarantee the conclusion. For example, if A is B and B is C, A must be C. There is no alternative. The concept of validity is a tool for evaluating the internal logic of a deductive argument. To say that an argument is valid is not the same as saying that the argument is good or sound. For example, imagine the premise that all dogs can fly and the second premise that Fido is a dog. The conclusion would be that Fido can fly. Although it might seem counterintuitive, this is a valid argument. An argument is valid if the truth of the premises would guarantee the truth of the conclusion. If it is true that all dogs can fly, then it must be true that Fido the dog can fly. But let's put this argument under more scrutiny. This is a valid argument, but it is not a sound argument. Soundness is an evaluation of both whether an argument is valid and whether its premises are true. A sound argument must be both valid and have true premises. Not all dogs can fly. So one of the premises is false and our argument is not sound. So validity and soundness are properties of an argument and truth is a property of a statement. Here's an argument that is sound because it is both valid and has true premises. All U.S. senators are politicians. Ted Cruz is a U.S. senator. The conclusion is that Ted Cruz is a politician. It's a horrible reality, but it is a reality and it is a sound argument. Here's an argument where the premises are true, but the argument is invalid. So the argument is not sound. Paris is a city. Germany is a country. Conclusion, Paris is the capital of Germany. It's not sound because that conclusion is not guaranteed by the truth of the premises. Or what about this one? Marco Rubio is a Republican, which is true. Hillary Clinton is a Democrat, which is true. And the conclusion is that Jill Stein is a member of the Green Party. In this particular case, both of the premises are true and the conclusion happens to be true, but the two premises don't logically guarantee that conclusion. So the argument is invalid and therefore it is not sound. We should only accept conclusions of arguments that are both valid and sound. If you're interested in philosophy and critical thinking, you will love Brilliant, which has pretty much become my go to for learning things online. Check out Brilliant's new immersive lessons on logic, problem solving, multi level thinking, identifying false information, and identifying fallacies. Whether you already have a grasp on any of these subjects or you're looking for a fun and engaging way to become acquainted with these topics for the first time, Brilliant really is the place to go where you can actually learn hands on by solving problems and puzzles designed by expert educators. And unlike other learning sites, when I'm using Brilliant, I'm actually learning by working hands on with real world scenarios and problems. Sign up for free by going to brilliant.org slash critical thinking. I've put a link in the description under this video and the first 200 people who visit will get 20% off an annual premium membership. Visit brilliant.org slash critical thinking.